Well, Carolyn and Stephen, a lot of people have been telling their stories about Sparky Anderson today, and just listening to Don, these are great stories about him. Some, it was the first real member of the Tigers that they remember was Sparky Anderson. He was such a bright star with that team and also leading them to the championship in 84. For others, they were so thankful that Sparky used his celebrity and his time to support many charities across the Detroit area. Some fans came here to Comerica Park, but we went out to the corner of Michigan and Trumbull and found two great fans taking a moment to hold a thought for Sparky. The old Tiger Stadium may not be standing anymore at the corner of Michigan and Trumbull, but for Teak and Rick Modell, it is the first place they could think of to come when they heard former Tiger manager Sparky Anderson had died. We had to stop by and see the field, you know. It, there's Kayline I see out there, Geringer and, and Horton and all the guys. Wow, you know, this is... Fill the dreams. Brings a tear to my eye. The longtime fans got a call from their other brother who lives out in California and heard the news first. He's the one that gave us a call to let us know because he goes to the same church that Sparky does. And I guess in Thousand Oaks, they found out right away. For the Modals and thousands of diehard Tigers fans, Sparky may have been the manager of the team, but for years, he was the star and, of course, helped bring home a world championship in 84. Just him uh, walking to home plate and getting applause because he was so popular. He brought this team back from nothing. The brothers have spent lots of time at the corner and Comerica Park, and Teak remembers the last time he saw Sparky. Uh, last year at uh, Comerica Park, when he was, uh, when they had the 84 Tigers out there, and um, I put my arm around him and how you doing, Sparky? And you know, it, the old man says, just smiled and gracefully went on his business. You know, and I don't know. It's just. Um, He's up there with George Cal and Ernie Harwell now. Great man, and so many fans have stories like this. In fact, someone told me about an hour ago that he volunteered at Sparky's Catch Tournament for the last 15 years, every year, and Sparky always made a point to come up and shake each person's hand who had helped out and volunteered at that event. Great man, he'll be missed. Reporting live downtown tonight, I'm Christy McDonald, Channel 7 Action News. He will be missed, Christy, and he was just that kind of guy, and our thoughts and prayers about his family as oh, well. 